What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we're doing another awesome tools under 30 bucks. In comes the Milwaukee Adjustable Hole Cutter. So this bad boy will set you back uh, $3 less than 30 bucks. Uh, this thing's uh, 27 27 and some change. Maybe it's $27.97 so I might have just lied to your face. So uh, you know Nonetheless, it comes in under $30 and it qualifies for my series here. So I have used this multiple times. What's awesome about this tool is that uh, it basically can cut any hole in between two, two to seven inches. So when you're looking at cutting different holes, whether it be in drywall or ceiling tile, um, you know, usually you would have to worry about uh, getting a hole saw or a hole dozer, some, something like that offering. So if you choose to buy a hole saw or a hole dozer, um, this six inch uh, hole dozer will cost you about 50 bucks. So just for the actual piece itself. So if you're looking at getting a hole saw kit, um, if, you're, if you're cutting through metal or you're doing something like that, uh, you know, through uh, two by fours, two by sixes, two by twelves, floor joists, anything like that, yes, you'll want to get some of the bimetal blades. The hole dozers are awesome, but just like this six inch one, these things are expensive. So if your project just includes you drilling through drywall or a ceiling tile, uh, or you're putting a ceiling fan in overhead and you just need a hole cut for a box, then uh, I would definitely turn to this Milwaukee adjustable tool cutter or adjustable hole cutter. This thing has two knives on it that can be replaced. Uh, I'm sure you could actually grind a new edge on these, on the, take them off and grind a new edge on them. Uh, and you could you could technically grind even a sharper edge on them. So uh, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, as you want to make the hole bigger, obviously just pull the knives further apart. So a seven inch hole is pretty darn big. Uh, I'm not sure that even a can light would require a seven inch hole. Usually most can lights are between five and six inches. Some of the smaller ones are three and four inches, but if you're looking for that versatility, and doing that and you need to do a lot of repetitious holes, this might be the tool for you. So um, we're gonna demonstrate this bad boy. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. Uh, we're even going to drill some, uh, some drywall overhead. Uh, the awesome thing about this kit is it even comes with, it, with its own dust shield. So we're gonna take a, apart the rest of this plastic off your here. And we are gonna set up this dust shield to uh, hold all of our trimmings when we're cutting this hole. So it should be pretty interesting to see uh, just how well this works. I have not used it with this. Um, I have chose to do it, uh, you know, just on my own and, and let this stuff fall wherever. So very quick and simple to use, put the drill bit in the top. The drill bit has a hex key in it, so it keeps your blades from moving. So once you put this drill bit inside, you can no longer move your, uh, your blades further apart. So we're gonna set this bad boy for five inches here. Obviously you need to set it on both sides at five inches or you'll get kind of a, you get kind of a different size hole altogether. So I've set it on five inches, drop my drill bit in, and it has a quick lock chuck that goes on the bottom of it. Whoop. You just click the, click the drill bit in the chuck and it holds it in the chuck. So let's go ahead and put the shield on it and uh, get it up on uh, a piece of drywall that I've mounted to the ceiling and we'll show you just how easy this tool is to use. All right guys, so you slide this piece, uh, this other accessory that comes with the debris shield, um, you slide this up into your debris shield here so that uh, you can utilize the, basically the slide function of this little plastic collar here. So you're gonna drop your uh, hole cutter down in your uh, sleeve like this. And as you can see, it's nice and clear so you can see the tool cutter spinning. So now we can chuck up our drill. Um, the instructions say to it's best to use it on high speed. And uh, let's put a mark on our drywall and uh, let's cut us a hole here. All right, let's go ahead and mark a center hole here somewhere like so. So if we're doing it overhead, go ahead and put my drill bit on the mark and let's make it happen.
All right, so literally no debris fell on me whatsoever. It's completely caught in the dust shield, um, and I really don't have to worry about anything in my face, and it cut right through that drywall like it was nothing. All right, guys, so we just cut a five inch hole in the overhead drywall. Um, I think this tool is out absolutely outstanding. Um, virtually no drywall dust uh, fell on me and I was literally right underneath the tool. So this debris shield is definitely awesome. Uh, there, it, there was a little bit of uh, drywall dust that came down through this collar. Nothing can be absolutely perfect unless you're putting a bag around it or something like that. But nonetheless, you're not going to make that much uh, debris that you need to clean it up with the shop vac or, you know, uh, there's damage control to worry about on the back end. So this tool is very, very useful. Uh, I think absolutely, without a doubt, this is a thumbs up. This thing is awesome. And for 30 bucks, I mean, it replaces a lot of different sizes of hole saws um, if you're using it for the drywall and ceiling tile applications. Um, this will not cut through uh, plywood or OSB, uh, anything like that. It's not going to cut through it. It literally just has fine, sharp um, little knives on it. So it's not going to cut through any of your thicker boards. Uh, probably wouldn't even be able to do MDF with it because it's it's more dense. So stick to the application that the packaging shows, which is drywall and ceiling tile, and you will be flawless with this tool. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It really wasn't that long. This is another another amazing tool under 30 bucks that you know I bought on a whim, and you know it definitely beats the heck out of buying a bunch of these. So if you really don't need these, then this is the tool for you. Uh, you you really don't need a hole saw. You need this adjustable hole cutter, and it does an awesome job. So uh, I don't know if there's any kind of warranty on this thing. Um, it's professionally made in China, so, you know, whatever. I don't really care about all that. Um, usually stuff is, is made even better in China than it is in the U.S. So uh, I, I really like this tool. Uh, I really like that you can take the little blades off and sharpen them in the future so when one gets dull, if you're a professional using it every day, you're definitely going to dull out the little knives. They do get hot after you use them, so be careful with that. Um, when you're chucking it up, be careful because I already uh, cut myself because it spun around while I was chucking it up. Um, just simple stuff like that um, that you need to look out for. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd appreciate that subscription. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, and as always, I'll keep kicking it and it's off to, I guess, record some more videos. So uh, as always, if you're one of those guys that has subscribed and you've rang that bell, I will see you in the next video.